Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Ruin Factory, a fantasy Harvest Moon. So, in the last episode, we ground up a bunch of items, got access to Danon Cave, and in this episode, we're going to be doing a bit more grinding, growing those crops to get more access to Danon Cave, and just talking to people. Let's do it. And while I'm here, I need two pieces of scrap iron. Neat. So we need to come up here, we need to use our silver to make a silver ring. Then we use that ring and one of our paragons to make the parasite ring. I believe I've already done that before. So if we take a skull, a fish fossil, the parasite ring, the devil blood, the scrap iron, and let's see, what's the last item I need? Here we go. Poison powder. We make the cursed ring. The cursed ring, a sinister looking ring, drains the wearer's power when equipped. Minus 30 to strength, dex, intelligence, and vitality. You can make yourself seriously weak by using this ring. We, of course, will not be using this ring. We'll be using the cursed ring, the diamond, the little crystal, the red crystal seed, and the sapphire. What? Oh. Okay, we only have a 45% chance of succeeding. But, I mean, that's fine. We'll just do it again. There we go, the happy ring. Surprisingly, we didn't instantly get a decoration level up, considering... Our decoration skills only level 74. That was only half a level's worth. That's odd. Okay. Whatever. The Happy Ring. Guards against all abnormal states. Wear this to ensure happiness. Power guard, topple guard, poison guard, seal guard, and paralyzed guard 80%. It is very good. Much better than the silent ring. Seal guard 75%. So we'll be trading those out. Very nice, actually. We lose to defense? Oh, right, no, it doesn't have any defense on it. Huh, interesting, cool. Uh, neat little note that if you need the defense, the silent ring may be better, but I just care about not getting status ailments. So, neato. Now, we're going to be using this pendant, as well as the agua element we got last episode, to make the tear pendant. I know I said I was going to use it for medicine, but, I mean, if it's just a freebie like this, why not just make a good accessory? Alright, we're going to make two gold rings. And one of these gold rings we're going to use with an emerald to make an emerald ring. Another one of them we're going to use with an agua ring to make an agua ring. Then we're going to use a piece of gold with an emerald to make the emerald brooch. And a piece of gold with an agua marine to make the agua brooch. Now we're going to use three of these fish fossils as well as the scrap metal to make the knowledge certificate. We use one silver ring with a magic crystal to make the magic ring. Alright, the emerald brooch. This emerald adorned brooch has a certain understated elegance to it. The tear pendant. This pendant has a tear motif. Increases resistance to water. Agua brooch. This brooch's agua marine shines the same color as the ocean's depths. Knowledge certificate. Only one who acquires the knowledge of the ages can possess the certificate. Uh, the agua ring. The rough cut of this ring adds to its charm. Emerald ring. An emerald's brilliance adds beauty to any hand. And the magic ring. An enchanted ring. Increases intelligence. Um... They're all pretty good items, to be honest. For instance, this one increases your defense against all elements by 20%. This one just increases your water by 12. So the knowledge certificate is definitely a good item. Um, thinking about it, I might want to do that. It would increase. It would decrease my strength by 15, and my tell. It would increase my intelligence, decrease my hmm, hard. 
you know, I'm not really taking damage and I like dealing more damage, so I'll just keep the hero certificate. But at some point, I'll need to swap it out. Alright, a bunch more things shipped. I'll be right back to get some more. Always grabbing this energy. Not what I need. Nope. Nope. Nada. Still no. Okay. What the heck? I'm... <laughs> am I both too good and too bad to get iron? There we go. This is a bit of a problem for me. Okay. I hadn't even really considered the fact that by upgrading my platinum, my hammer to platinum, it would cause this kind of issue. But, sure enough, I'm getting bronze and silver from things I normally only ever get, you know, scrap iron and iron from. I'm also getting much scrap iron, so just a lot of question marks what I'm supposed to be getting iron from. Oh my gosh, I don't know where I'm supposed to get iron then. Yeah, okay, this is not going in my favor. Maybe it'd be better if I were just to head into Tauros. Hopefully, I can still get iron here. Okay, well, I'm getting mining skill ups, but that's not what I need here. With every one of those, it's harder and harder to get iron. Give me iron! There we go. Okay, we have five of the iron we need now. I can at least come back here and heal a bit before I keep trying this. This is some kinds of weird. I got freaking gold from Tauros. What level gold? Level 17 gold. Yeah, okay, I'll keep the gold just to sell it, just to say I sold Tauros gold. Totally legitimate, everyone. Go search Tauros for gold. You'll definitely find some. I really should have got this iron before I upgraded. There we go. Alright, six pieces of iron will make the heavy boots. If you take that pair of heavy boots, a bullhorn, wolf claws, devil horn, wolf fang, and angered fang all together, you get the knight boots. Now if we use that pendant, as well as one piece of platinum, we get the star pendant. And if we just use a piece of platinum, we get the platinum ring. Always. I also need to check out your special goods once again. You have the brand glasses for sale for 13200 Kind of expensive for how not very good these are, but you know, that's very on brand. I'm actually going to buy a critical ring here as well. I'm also going to buy a charm. So right when you think we're done, we're heading back into Tauros. I need more iron. I'm not really suited to do this right now. Let's head into town real quick and heal up because I'm using up all my energy today. I've already used up all the rune factories I had set up, so... Yeah, we're kind of this awkward situation where I'm actually out of energy. The worst thing is that I actually need to still uh, water both Casimir Ruins as well as uh, Tanan Cave, so I just have to be sure not to forget those things. Get some iron while I'm thinking about it, finish off my crafting, and then take care of those things. Surprisingly, I've made this a pretty di busy day for myself, so there's one iron, two iron. I think that's enough for what I need. Okay, we're going to use one iron, one bronze, and one insect jaw to make the pin. We're going to use one charm and two little crystals to make the talisman. Now we're going to take the talisman, the pin, and the critical ring to make the courage badge. Alright, we're going to take one piece of iron and a wolf claw to make the lucky strike. Okay, the knight boots. These fine boots are worn by distinguished knights and offer excellent defense. They give you plus one to strength, dex, intelligence, vitality, and plus 15% power guard with eight defense. Star pendant. This star-shaped pendant shines as brightly as the nighttime constellations. 35% poison seal and paralysis resistance. Platinum ring. Simple designs are all the rage. Platinum rings are good to wear or give as gifts. It 
gives seven defense almost as much as the boots. Brand glasses, the forefront of fashion, improves your eyesight and popularity. Courage badge, this badge is for the courage of its wearer. Strength plus three, power and topple guard plus 20%, and 10 defense. And finally, the lucky strike. Strength minus 10, dex minus eight, critical plus 77%. Drastically increases your critical hit rate. So this combined with another item can pretty much guarantee every hit you do is a critical hit, so it's worth dropping your strength and dex. But you decide whether you want to use it or not. I'm not really that concerned, but you know, you do you. You figure out exactly what you want to do for it. I'm not going to be using any of these items, but know that they are mostly all good items. Except for the brand glasses. That was way overpriced. Alright, neato. Bunch more done. Okay, apparently I still had my heavy boots from before when I used to use them. I was planning on using them for this, but I completely forgot they were on my shelf. Heavy boots. Iron boots offer excellent defense, but are, you know, heavy. Difficult to be toppled. They're not great, but they worked for when I needed them. Alright, cool. They're shipped as well. Oh, hello there. I like people who friend monsters. I'm sure you do. Yes, this field. I totally didn't water one square of it yesterday, and none of the rest of it, because I'm dumb. Mm. Alright, so while I'm here, I actually need to grab some platinum. There we go, platinum. Perfect. Alrighty. And now, it's time for Mieda. Right. I need to put up a fire. We didn't stop the fire. Oh, a uh, water crystal. Dang it. I'm going to need a lot of these. So in coming days, I'll need to grind these up. We're going to head back this way. Now I'm going to commit Mieda. Alright. I don't really have any way to recover at this point, so let's go to bed. Kind of early, but it was a fulfilling day. That means we don't even have to put out the fire or anything, we can just run straight up there, water our crops, which are already, you know, well on their way to being done. Sure, it did waste a bunch of RP, but I'm sure that's fine. I'm not looking for a bunch of iron or anything, so, you know, I'll have an extra bar of RP or so. Oh. Mm. Freaking water crystals, man. They keep giving me hope and then dashing it. Also, I just realized that some of the, like, items I need most of in this entire game are from ranged enemies, not even from, like, scorpions or something, where I could just kill, like, 20 of them in, like, 10 minutes. Or not even that, like, 5 minutes. So I guess this is gonna be the last one I do. Alright. No magic crystals. So I was about to head into town, but before I do that, take two pieces of bronze and a cheap bracelet, to make the bronze bracelet. I know, you know, wh Gabe, why are we doing this? You made that like 20 episodes ago, what the heck? It's it's because it's Leo's birthday and that's his favorite gift, you silly partitionally fool. Partitionally, that's not what I meant to say. Yeah, whatever. You silly Sally monster. I don't know. <laughs> no, I have really no idea what I'm saying. I am in such a weird mood today. Thank you for your bronze bracelet. It's been a while since I got a birthday present, I... Yeah, this little man, he he ages. He, he can get older. Oh god. <laughs> May I speak with you? No. Apparently we're not speaking about anything new. I see how it is. We're not on good terms. But that means that I need to buy a new cheap bracelet. 
because that wasn't the original purpose, but I realized that I didn't actually have one in stock like I thought I did. So, let's head home. Also, I just realized it's the 11th day of winter and it's 11 a.m. 11 11, make a wish. Alright, one cheap bracelet, two pieces of platinum to make the platinum bracelet. The Platinum Bracelet, a bracelet made of platinum, drastically increases defensibility. You know, 16 defense, definitely not bad. Alright, that's shipped. So, I had a mistake. I did not realize I hadn't made something. I'm gonna buy one more pendant. Now, if we take a pendant and a piece of silver, we get the heart pendant. The heart pendant. This heart-shaped pendant is a popular gift. Power on top of guard plus 10%, defense plus 3. It's nothing amazing, but, you know, you could have gotten this really early on. Awesome. So, in theme with all the crafting I've been doing today, I actually need to come in here to Leo's shop for once and buy a... round shield? A round shield. So I'm gonna need a bunch more platinum here. At the forging area, we're going to take one of our round shields and two pieces of platinum. Also, all the platinum I got were different levels, so you know. Actually, let's check that. Somehow, all the platinum I got were different levels. A level 25 platinum. That's worth 20,000. Wow. Okay. I wish it actually equated to stronger equipment. That'd be amazing the Platinum Shield. So we could stop there, or, you know, we could do it for the long haul. Of all the things I need, I don't have a piece of gold, and I need, like, three of them, so we're gonna be coming up here. An Amethyst. I did need one of those for a recipe. Another Amethyst. I don't need any more of those, I don't think. Okay, this is starting to get stupid. Okay, seriously? Someone's messing with me. Someone is messing with me. We both know, we all know, everyone here knows that th these give gold. There's a piece of gold. There we go, it's two pieces of gold. Not enough. There we go. So that's three pieces of gold, all different levels, not to mention the countless amethysts I got, because why not? <laughs> also, beep beep, I'm a sheep. Alrighty then. Come in here so that I can heal. We're gonna take our platinum shield, a piece of silver, and two pieces of gold to make the night shield. The night shield has plus four strength, plus five vitality, plus 23 power and topple guard, and 17 defense. So, you know, we'll get less power and topple guard, but we don't need that anymore. So we'd get more defense right here. But I want to shoot for a higher point. The night shield. The heavy shield. A piece of platinum and a piece of gold. The rune shield. This is the highest level shield in the entire game. The rune shield. Plus 16% power and topple guard, plus 5% poison seal and paralyzed resistance. 20 defense. Forged with runes, the shield does not dent easily, matches the rune blade. So, yeah. This is the one of the two best shields in the game. This and the chaos shield. The chaos shield gives you plus 25% guard, uh, poison seal and paralysis uh, resistance. It gives you plus 5 dex and minus 5 intelligence. It only gives 10 defense though, so I, you know, went for this one since I already have such good uh, resistances thanks to the Happy Ring. Alright. I now have 85% resistance to all status ailments except for power and topple, which I have 96% resistance to. Actually, thanks to this, I have immunity to it. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing pretty well for myself. Okay. We're going to take our luck blade. 
two pieces of platinum and a pretty skin. Because I didn't include this in any of my calculations before, because I didn't intend to 100% make this sword, I will have to get another pretty skin, and that's fine. The Smash Blade. Designed to accurately hit weak spots, increases critical hit rate, plus 63% over I think it was like 40% or something for the Luck Blade before, and less attack, I want to say it was like 25 or 25, 29, right in there, uh, attack for the Luck Blade, and this one has 47. We'll be able to get a whole kills a lot faster now. Oh, awesome. Love me. Love me, love me. Say that you love me. And I'm taking a bath. And I'm living the bath. Okay, so if I'm right, I need one extra wolf thing for something. I was actually expecting this to go fairly quickly, but I'm not getting the drop I need. So I guess I'll just talk to myself for a bit. See what I can come up with. Because these guys are incredibly lame. Wow, it has been two hours and I still haven't got a drop. Oh, there we go. So now I just need one pretty skin, which will be more difficult than the wolf claws. The wolf claws, I believe, were pretty much guaranteed. But the pretty skin is more uncommon than the stinger that these things drop. Like I said, the... Oh, it's the scorpion tail, but you know what I mean. It has the stinger on it. Another scorpion tail. Ah, oh, yes, very unfortunate. There we go. Pretty skin obtained. Let's get out of here. And now we fight fairies once again. I, of course, didn't bring away to heal. Another <laughs> aqua element. They're rare drop, not their common. Give me the common drop, you fools. Like I said, give me the common drop. Thank you, I really appreciate it. You guys are so kind. Preparing such gifts. You must have noticed my shiny new sword. Water crystal. Okay, you've given me one of each now. I'm fine with that, just as long as there's more fairy powder in it for me. Any more? Fairy powder. Thank you. Alright, let's head home. We've actually gotten a huge amount done today. Between all the fairy powder and the other drops that I've gotten, all the crafting I got gotten... Got, got gotten? What? <laughs> got taken care of, you know, but, but da, I, I mess things up sometimes, it happens. I'm just, I'm happy. We had a lot of progress today. I don't know what I'm going to be doing with this Agua Element. I'm going to look real quick on my list before I end this episode. You only need two Agua Elements total. One to ship, one to make the tier emblem, uh, pendant, tier pendant. So this is an extra, because I still need to make one no matter what. Increases the power of water magic by one. Nom, nom, nom. Now we permanently have that little blue number up by one, both on attack and defense. And actually, because of this, uh, we're doing pretty good. So, we've, I believe, done a flare and an agua element. So if we could get a earth element and a wind element, I think don't really remember their names, like, you know, that they're probably like a Terra and a Gale or something. You know, woohoo if I got that correct. <laughs> but, you know, I just kind of like seeing us get stronger and see more progress as time goes on. Guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory, a Fantasy Harvest Moon. We're just going to be heading out, I believe, tomorrow, whether tomorrow in-game or the next day after, is the day we can make more progress in Danan. We're not going to be doing Danan Cave tomorrow. We're going to be getting one drop from it, making the upgraded fishing rod, and then going fishing for the rest of the day. 
I'll see you all next time, and I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Goodbye.